Hey guys, this is Katie again from the blog Happy and Wrong. And uh, first of all, I just want to apologize. My hair has not been cut in like three months, so I got to get that fixed. I'm looking a little shaggy. But um, also today, the video I wanted to do was because I'm so excited. I got my first glossy box today. And, you know, I've been seeing so many bloggers, you know, post everything about Glossy Box, and I've been absolutely excited. It took forever to get, um, to be added to the wait list, and so they have very clever marketing. Good job, Glossy Box, sending that to all the big bloggers out there. But, um, so this is my first one. I just wanted to show you guys what I got, and uh, so let's just jump right into it. My computer has limited battery life today, so, all right, let's go. First of all, as many people have commented, the glossy box is very pretty. It comes with a nice, lovely glossy box logo. And the box is really sturdy. Unlike the uh, birch box, which is just kind of like crumbly cardboard, this thing actually has some depth. So you could probably save this and use this as, you know, gift uh, boxing or whatnot. So the first thing I noticed when I opened it, first of all, even the inside's very pretty. It's a little polka dot logo thing going on. First thing I noticed is it looks like this. And they included a little card. And so the card just says, um, well, I'm not going to read it to you, but it just explains like summer simplicity, why they included stuff. And then finally on the back, they showed what each product was. So I'm going to kind of use that. I just got this yesterday, so <laughs> I'm pretty excited. So, also the packaging is really good. They have this nice ribbon tied around it. So, I'm going to undo the ribbon very dramatically. And then the tissue paper. And their presentation, I was really amazed. They really do pull out all the stops for an amazing presentation. So, this is what they sent the box to look like. Oops. Look. That's what they essentially sent it to look like. And so it's very pretty. It's got like this, you know, kind of paper stuff at the bottom. It's presentation is definitely a 10. So the first thing I saw when I opened it was this little um, perfume organic thing. And it says that it actually is um, a special surprise treat. And um, I got, like, there are different options. I got the organic urban organic so it's like a sweet lemon sorbet with bourbon tangy lime peel basil ginger and smoky vetiver vetiver I don't know anyway I've already smelled this I'll go ahead and tell you I didn't like it um, I can imagine it would make an awesome mixed drink I would like to see this maybe on a salad not so much on my body so I'm sorry Birchbox I know you probably got all that junk for free but um, yeah, no. This perfume smells to high heaven. They definitely missed the mark on that one. But uh, the next thing I noticed was this giant full-size mascara. And it says here that this is actually from Beauty Addicts. I haven't heard of Beauty Addicts, but it looks pretty good. And it says it's the Show Off Mascara. And this unique formula with argan oil will give your lashes an intense, dramatic look without clumps or smudges. So I actually haven't opened it because I've been <laughs> waiting to post this video, but let's rip it open and see what we can find. Let's see here. It's very pretty, and I love argan oil. I use it on my hair and my conditioner and in my hair treatment. First of all, I'm going to smell it because I'm weird. It actually smells pretty good, and this is kind of what it looks like. So... I don't know. I'll give it a try and let you guys know what I think. So far, I'm pretty excited about it. My mascara is about ready to run out, and I usually use the Lorac Lots of Lash, so maybe this will be a good switch. Who knows? All right, the next product is the Shea Terra Organics, and this is the Ultimate Moisturizing Body Cream, and it's made with 30% organic shea butter, and so it looks like it's just, you know, like some lotion. I'm really excited about this. It smells really good. It smells very citrusy and fresh. And this is kind of the consistency. As you can see, it's kind of like a weird kind of consistency. Can you see that? So I'm going to 
rub it in. I love hand lotion. I always have some like by my bed, so this is going to be absolutely perfect, especially because my hands dry out really bad no matter what the season. So I'm excited. It smells really good and it feels really good. I have used this um, before. The next one is the Kinnerese. I, I botched that. I know I did. I, I am terrible at pronunciation. And it's the Restructure Firming Cream. And so I guess this is for if you have saggy like under eyes or saggy facial cream. I guess this is for that. I really don't have a problem with that. Um, my main skin problem would probably be acne or oily skin, but I'm interested because I do like to use eye cream just as a preventative measure. It actually smells really good too. It looks like that. So um, I'm just going to rub it on this hand too. This hand's going to get all the good treatments today. So I am excited to use that. Um, I'll probably use some of that underneath my eyes. So if you guys notice that my eyes look Botoxed, obviously you should go out and buy this. If not, you know, what can you do? All right, the next thing is something that I'm really excited about. As you can see, I have very long, thick, unmanageable almost hair. Ugh. And um, so I always like to use like kind of a conditioner mask thing on it. And so this is Wella Professionals Enrich Moisturizing Treatment. And so this is kind of like a leave-in conditioner that you rinse out after several minutes. It smells absolutely amazing. It looks really cool. And so um, this is for fine to normal hair, which my hair is very thick and very fine. So I'm incredibly excited about this. So I'll definitely put that to good use. And finally, last but not least, I don't think, is a full-size product. And this is um, the First Aid Beauty Smooth Shave Cream. So it looks like this is just really, really high-quality shave cream. I already, um, I tell you what I really like to do for shave cream. I like to use Lush, their shower smoothies, like the Dream Wash or something like that as shave cream. So I'm kind of interested to see how this will work out. Um, it's kind of got a little sticker. Let me peel this back if I can. I'm really bad at the... Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm trying to peel this back. You know what? It's gel. It's shave cream gel. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of interested. This will probably go in like my travel case or something. Um, so, overall, I, I was expecting a lot from Glossy Box, and so far, it's, it's okay. It's nothing I've been absolutely thrilled at. I've gotten a lot of birch boxes that I've been absolutely stoked to have. I'm kind of more of a makeup person than a shave cream person but um, yeah it's the first glossy box so hopefully the next one will be a little bit better and it wasn't bad it was just a little well, well a little subpar so what can you do anyway I just wanted to share you guys uh, kind of share with you guys the glossy box and so if you're interested I'll try to link glossy box below and um, it just it looks pretty fun. If you like Birchbox, it's kind of a next step up. It is a little bit more expensive than Birchbox. It's about 20 bucks a month because they do have more high-end products and bigger sizes. However, um, you know, a lot of people have said they're worth it. I've seen really good boxes and I've seen kind of mediocre boxes like mine. So we'll see how it is next month. And um, yeah, if anyone else has any stories about Birchbox or wants to share what's in their box, link it below. And I'd love to take a look because I'm nosy like that. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I better go, but thank you guys for paying attention to my glossy box introduction thingy, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right, bye guys.